Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a list of top 10 magic anime with a strong overpowered main character. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you are new, please subscribe to our channel. So without any further delay, let's begin. Number 10. Akashic Records of Bastard Magic Instructor the Alzano Empire is home to one of the most distinguished magic schools in the world, the Alzano Imperial Magic Academy. Here, ambitious young students undergo training to become competent magicians. Sistine Fibel, a stern noble girl, and her bright-eyed best friend Rumia Tingel attend Academy, determined to cultivate their magic skills. However, their world is thrown for a loop when their favorite teacher suddenly retires and the enigmatic gland replaces him. His lazy and indifferent attitude towards life and magic quickly puts him at odds with his class. What's more, the nefarious forces hidden within the Empire's wall starts to become active, and Sistine, Rumia, and Glenn find themselves caught up in their schemes. Number 9. Witchcraft Works Hanoka Takamiya is a seemingly ordinary high school student who is living normal life. However, his main problem in life is the constant presence of Ayaka Kagari, the beautiful idol and princess of the school. As Honoka sits next to Ayaka in class and takes part in the same class cleaning duties as she does, even the tiniest interaction between them leads to Honoka getting beaten up by her fan club. One day, however, while Honoka is taking out the trash, a school building is mysteriously flung towards him. Luckily, a witch swings to his rescue and wards off the attack. The witch is revealed to be none other than Ayaka herself, who has been observing and protecting him ever since. Number 8. Why did night time? Ling Long just wants to make some friends, but she is not the best at socializing, not to mention that her online friend has stopped replying to her text. However, in an unusual turn of events, she suddenly gains the ability to see monsters and ghosts. Her normal life takes on a strange twist. Number 7. Ange Virge The story of the card game follows what happens when Hyrule portal suddenly opens, fusing five different worlds together. As a result, various mysterious exceed powers are awakened in teenage girls. An academy for these so-called progress girls is built on the isolated Seran Island in the Pacific. Number 6. Lost Period The Journey to the End of the Despair Period is how magic users call who beat spiral, monsters that were summoned from isolation. Due to the rise of these beings, 14-year-old apprentice Period Haru, who is a part of the 8th Arc and Division, is called to break the cycle and cast himself into the endless battle. However, a mysterious theory occurred and sank the Division into bankruptcy, forcing Haru and his other comrades have to leave their headquarters, rebuild a branch they have to overcome quest after quest. Number 5. My Holy Weapon One day, while being attacked, Chang Tian unintentionally invokes an artifact called Xiao Bai that protects him from a terrible fate. After this, he finds himself on a battlefield where he will fight alongside several other people like him, able to invoke Artifacts. Number 4. Matoi the Secret Slayer. Matoi Samaragi, a second year junior high school student, works part time as a shrine maiden at Tanman Shrine in the city of Kamaya. Her close friend Yuma Kusanagi is part of the family of the shrine's chief priest and is candidate to be the successor shrine maiden. One day, Matoi and Gyoma walk from the school to the shrine as usual, but when they arrive, they are greeted by the shrine's now damaged grounds, 
and Yuma's parents have both left from their bound. Matoi's father, Shingo, a police detective, launches an investigation, and he comes upon a man who does not seem entirely sane. His only witness? When he holds down the man, Yuma begins the ritual of divine possession. Something strange then happens, not with Yuma but with Matoi. Matoi Sumeragi, who had only wanted a normal peaceful life, takes the role of a god and gains the power to banish evil spirits. <laughs> Number 3. Yuki Yuna is a Hero The story takes place on the Japanese island Shikoku in the fictional city of Sanshu based on the real-life city of Kanonji in Kagawa Prefecture. In 300th year of the era of the gods, Yuna, Memori, Fu, and Itsuki are all members of the Sanshu Middle School Hero Club, dedicating themselves to helping those in need. One day in their regular daily lives, the Hero Club members are suddenly caught in an explosion of light and transported to a strange forest, where they encounter mysterious monsters known as Vertex, which seek to destroy the Shinju, the guardian deity which protects and blesses humanity. Using a special phone application granted by Taisha, an organization dedicated to the Shinju, Yuna and her friends must transform into heroes with magical powers to protect their world from imminent destruction. Number 2. Cross Ankh through the development of groundbreaking information, transfer and material generation technology called MANA, various problems such as pollution and war have disappeared and days of peace have arrived in the world. However, the people who receive the benefit of the MANA live in a false peace. Those who cannot use the MANA referred to by the derogatory term NORMA, who are seen as an opposition to structure the society live in oppression. Because this is the norm, the people who use MANA do not question it. The first princess of the Misurugi Empire, Angelis Ikaruga Misurugi, was convinced of the belief of exterminating the Norma. But when she turned 16 and was baptized, her elder brother Julio exposed her as a Norma to the public. Angelis, who is bewildered by the revelation that she herself was a Norma all along, turns into a target of hate of the people in the blink of an eye. Ankh is exiled to Arsenal an isolated military base where Norma are conscripted into service and then starts her new life as a Norma soldier. As she struggles to adjust to her new identity, Aang's new stormy life takes one surprising turn after another and she embarks on her quest to correct the world she lives in. Number 1 Maria the Virgin Bitch Set in France during the Hundred Years' War, it follows Maria who is one of the most powerful witches of her era. She intervenes against the warring nations by using her succubus and incubus familiars to manipulate the opposing fractions, as well as large-scale illusions, all for the sake of helping the people and maintaining peace. As a result, she has gained the appreciation of several villagers and the hostility of the church, which consider her a heretic. Yet Maria is still a virgin and her own familiars tease her about it. As news of her action spreads, Archangel Michael focuses on Maria and rejects her interference in human affairs. After a dire confrontation, Michael ultimately decides that Maria will lose her magic powers if she loses her virginity and also forbids her from publicly using magic. That's it for today's video. I hope you like it and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, remember to hit the notification button for any more upcoming videos.